What's up guys, PC here, and today I'm going to break the discussion about why Framework 16 is a stupid purchase decision. So before we jump into the video, let's discuss the price situation. The Framework 16 DIY version costs $1400 and the pre-built one costs $700, which is practically extortion. Now we have to remember that there are a number of good and in some sense superior laptops that live in that price range, like the Lenovo Legion 5 Slim, HP Victus, Asus uh, A16 TUF, Asus Nitro 16, and all of these are packed with the Ryzen 7840HS and RDX4060 GPU, with just a notable exception being the framework and the Asus A16 TUF with the AMD uh, Radeon RX 7700S, and all of these have uh, 16 512 gigs for memory and storage. So if we match that up with the Framework 16 DIY version, the price jumps from $1,400 to $2,100. Now that's an absurd price to ask, especially if all the competition lives happily at the $1,200 to $1,300 range. Even Framework knows this. The only point that they had to show off this year was about how modular their design is and how easily you can swap out their parts. But guess what? All the previous generations had this function. All the previous generations didn't offer anything other than Intel versions, which is a nice welcome to see AMD options finally making its way to framework. Now, their main selling point is that if in future you want to upgrade your GPU or pretty much anything, you can. It's probably going to be a $500 purchase to swap out the GPU with a new one, but that's kind of stupid. I wouldn't want to play AAA games on an RTX 4080 in a 10 year old laptop, no matter how good the performance is, because the display is probably going to be crappy as heck, the battery would be degraded, and the keyboard would practically be destroyed. And the total cost of all of the depreciated value can never be f filled up with the amount of money that you save on a uh, GPU swap. So I do not think this is a good idea. For repairability, that's a huge heads up because you can literally pop out any of the broken parts and replace it with a new one in just a few minutes. So that's a nice welcome, but $2,100? That's too much.